Welcome back to my tips and tricks and how to use and get the best out of Skype. And in this short tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to add a contact to Skype. Now, I know that sounds really obvious, um, but it's probably the most important thing other than actually clicking the call button that you will need to do in Skype because if you don't have any contacts, then you'll have a fairly lonesome experience using Skype. Now, when you create a Skype account, the first option that you must do is create a Skype name, a Skype user name. Now, that's generally different to your own name. Uh, your Skype username is your unique identifier with Skype. Nobody else should or will have the same Skype username as you do. But many people may have the same name as you do. So when you're filling in your profile and you add, for example, Daryl Hunt, um, there may be hundreds of people who have the name Daryl Hunt. So how do you find and search for people on Skype? Now, if you have no idea whether the person um, that you're looking for actually has a Skype account, um, you can search for it via an email or you can type in their, the, the name that you know them as and search for them. Um, but this can be problematic um, if they haven't allowed their email to be searchable. Um, and if they've got a fairly common name, um, then you might find that you're going to have lists of people to go through. And I'll give you an example now. So to search for Daryl Hunt, if you're wanting to look for me in here, if you don't know my Skype username and you click here, you can type in Daryl Hunt. and it will search, you can see the little circle. Now, yeah, you can see there's quite a lot of Daryl Hunts. Some of them are popping up profile pictures. Um, so if you knew what the person looked like, then you could probably look through and find them via their profile picture. But if they haven't put a profile picture on, and if they haven't put anything much in their profile to distinguish them, you might have a devil's own time finding Daryl Hunt, and you know, Daryl Hunt's not the most common name, but you can see it's still fairly common. And I haven't even gone through, I've just gone down through the first page. So that's a way you can search. But, you know, again, it can be really difficult. You know, you might spend a lot of time looking for the right Daryl Hunt. So let's go back. And in this case, I know my own Skype username for my other account. So if you if the person has supplied you with that Skype username and said in an email, here is my Skype username, that will save you a lot of time. So if I type in my Skype username, let's see if I've, up. Oh, I might have just misspelled it here, like that. There we go, exactly me, that is me. There is no 100 Daryl Hunts. It's because it's picked up that unique identifier, my Skype username or my Skype name, and it's found it. So if you're using Skype in the business sense or you're using Skype for training and you know that the people you're going to be chatting with have already created a Skype account, um, email them, ask them for their Skype username rather than just relying on their first and second name. It will save you a lot of pain in looking for um, that person to add to your Skype contacts. Now, the next step would be if you found the right person is to add that person to Skype. Now, because this Daryl Hunt is already in this account, I can't add myself twice. So what I'm going to do is type in Daryl Hunt again, and we're going to grab that list of umpteen Daryl Hunts. Now, I'm just going to choose someone at random. Uh, I'm not going to physically add them, but I'm just going to take you through the steps right to the step of adding a person to Skype. So if this guy up the top here from the United States 
um, I was interested in adding him to my contact list, I would click. Now, it pulls him up here. I won't go in and uh, I can right click and check on his profile. If he's got profile information and all that sort of stuff, I can view profile. I won't because of privacy situations here. I'm not going to sort of expose his um, profile information on a public video. So add to, you've got the button add to contacts. So if I click add to contacts, now it pops up a box which is you know and had and it has a default message hi daryl hunt i'd like to add you to my contacts pretty boring because it doesn't say anything much now if you're using um this to add contacts for say a training course you would want to delete out that and add you know Hi, I'm Daryl Hunt, your trainer. I wish to add you to my contacts for our next class. Or, hi, I'm Daryl Hunt, I work with you. I would like to add you to my contacts. Don't just leave this default message because in most cases, people will ignore it because they don't know who you are and they don't know why you want to add them to your contact list. Now, if I was going to submit that now if i typed in a more useful message than just this one i would click send now when i had clicked send and i'm not going to this daryl hunt would appear on my contact list back on my contact list and you can see there he would have a rather gray circle with a question mark in it basically what that means is i've sent him an, a request but he is yet to accept my request. So when the next time he logged into Skype, he would see Daryl Hunt has requested um, that he add me to his contact list. If he goes, yeah, I'm happy about that and, and clicks the add button, from then on, I would see whatever his online status was. But if he clicked, no way, Jose, I don't know you, um, it would still just stay here, but it would have that grey um, circle with the question mark in it. And basically, I wouldn't be able to correspond or I wouldn't correspond. I wouldn't be able to video call him or anything like that um, in, unless he had his settings were set that he allowed everybody on the Internet to call him. So... That's adding a contact. Basically, it's a two-part operation. You search for the person that you want to add by clicking that. Once you've found the person, you click on their name, you hit the blue add to contact, and you get the little message box. You then type something in the message box that the other person at the other end will understand. Don't just leave it as default because most people will ignore it, particularly those that are familiar with Skype because unfortunately Skype does have its fair share of spammers and scammers so that people will just ignore it if you haven't taken the time to type in some unique message to let them know why you want to be added onto Skype. And once you've done that, they will appear on your list almost like as a provisional appearance until they accept you at the other end. And remember, if it's time zones and things, it could be, you know, and however often they use Skype, it might be um, a while before they accept you onto Skype. But once they do accept you, you can start seeing their online status. And you can see with these little green circles with the white ticks that these people are currently online. You will be able to see the status of that person once they have accepted you onto their list. So that's really about it. It's, it's very simple. It's just clicking here and, and searching for the name. But as I said earlier, if you're doing it for business or you're doing it for training or something like that, if you can get hold of the person via an email and say, can you please give me your Skype username or your Skype name, as you saw by the earlier um, searching that I did, it saves you a ton of time in finding people um, and adding them to your contact list. So that's it. 
just a quick tutorial in adding a contact to your list. Uh, it's always important if you're going to be running a call, make sure you add the people in advance. Don't go scrambling around at the last minute trying to find the person and adding them. Otherwise, you'll miss out on the call completely. So I hope that you found this video useful. Again, if you found it via my YouTube channel, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, um, subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you will watch the next video that I produce.